up and say, well, Colleen, good job. This does not even look like the same horse I saw a month ago. I know it's dark here, everyone, but you can see the top line. And if you would tickle his belly, you can see that that sag that existed in his belly before is gone. Look at that. So we need to take that center shim up out. No wonder you're rocking and rolling up there now. <laughs> so we mentioned that, she right. mentioned that the saddle doesn't seem to um, hug him the way it did before. She feels perched. Well, it's because he's developed all that muscle. It's wonderful. Let, isn't that wonderful? So let's take out the center shim from your smart pad, and we'll, um, we'll show you quite the difference. Yeah, what so you've got the shoulder. The shoulder one we'll end up leaving, putting back in there. But um, we can take that center one out because all your beautiful saint needs now is just one shim here. I'll have you hold it. <laughs> one, one shim behind um, his scapula movement to lift saddle pressure off of that. That's, that's all he's going to need. And that will just... And isn't that amazing that this saddle and the pad has allowed that muscle to develop rather than squishing the muscle and not allowing it to develop, but it's given it the space to lift within one month. It's one amazing. month! I'm so excited. Thank you for saying that. Because so it, that we worked very hard to provide that room under that saddle. Yeah, and, um, um, but it's just amazing to feel him moving, that. even though it was starting to get too high with his muscles yeah. building. To feel him move underneath and within that saddle is, is quite freaky. It's just, I've, I've been <laughs> riding freaky. for 50 years and I've never felt the movement underneath the saddle like oh. that. It's just, it's just incredible. And he loves it. I can't wait to watch him. I'll get some. Oh, We're out here at 6 o'clock in the morning. This yeah. is a dedicated, <laughs> dedicated horsewoman yeah. here. And Nick, yeah. she's getting ready for the equine extravaganza yeah. with a horse that okay. a month ago looked like a broken down. Yeah, a broken down yeah. Uh, pony. Cow horse. Yeah, from <laughs> the farm. Compared to this, one month later, look. Wow, we okay. Let's go. Let's saddle up. Okay, so we're just going to put the one shim. That's right. The uh, and the, the flat side on top, the yeah. thick side down here to lift. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll go in about an inch behind the. Uh, I don't think in this light we can see this Velcro strip here. We'll put the nose of that shim behind there, inside the pad pocket. Tuck it right in there. Oh, we're on? Yeah. yeah. All we're right. On. We're on. So this is pretty easy, actually. I thought it would be a bit more difficult. So about yeah. an inch in yeah. from the pocket. So that's yeah. about there that's now. Good. And just it, sitting in there filling up the holes. And it occurred to me the other day, if the panels of the saddle are flat, but the horse's back is not flat, yeah. we're just filling up all the holes to make the horse's back flat to fix the saddle. Well, and to a degree, but we don't want to plug this hole yeah. and leave no room for the scapula. We yeah. want the... The lift to come from behind here so that this this muscle can that's continue the, to that's develop. That's this movement that I felt is, yeah. is this moving all the time. Yeah. And I'm pretty Deep. darn sure in my saddles in the past they didn't move. But No, they were blocked um, there. They were, they were blocking them. Yeah. I just, this pad, I just love it. It's just, I like the sticky things here because the saddle doesn't slip. And yep. it's got two holding things so yep. the saddle doesn't slip. And But this sticky thing really... You feel like you're just so secure. That's wonderful. And, and this uh, this foam, the impact deflection factor of this foam that's underneath the bars of the saddle here, yeah. um, the impact deflection combined with the compression factor of it means that it compresses to just one quarter of itself. So you're very, very close to your horse, and yet he's not getting impact at any pressure points. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm sitting in this hole. I feel I'm just floating above the horse. He can just move underneath and... And when I first started with him, he's a Frisian Morgan Cross, mm -hmm. but I think he sort of channeled his pressure on, and he was <laughs> quiet and lumpy. And now I'm like, oh, woo boy, woo boy, because he just goes. And I just go like that, and he's off. Oh, is that And it's just fantastic. And he's just learning to sit down now, and sideways is very, very good. And uh, so when we're asking for sideways, he's just, he doesn't hit that shoulder going, oh, I don't know about sideways. That's it's, great. It's and that's another reason you don't want to put that shim right in that pocket behind the scapula. You want to put it behind there just a bit to lift the saddle off it. Yeah, it's like your own, it's like your own shoulder blade, you know. That's very sensitive back there. You start yeah. poking around back there and it, 
It hurts. You've got to get out of its way. And, uh, and if, you, if you block it, then he tends to roll his shoulder up, yeah. up away from it, and, and then he and looks short like this, next. Yeah. You know, and uh, he wants to show you his plaits. He's very, very proud of his plaits, you see. <laughs> Look at that. Now that he is a city slick and show horse. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we can see it in this light. Hello, uh, you gorgeous. Okay, so let's watch him move. And the, the other thing is, if we've got the shim in a little too far back or forward, you don't have to completely unsaddle. Just open this little Velcro slot, loosen your girth, open the slot, and, and shift it. Move it. Play yeah, with back. that. Back and wow. forward and uh, play with your balance point. Just thanks for my saddle, Mommy. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.